I prefer scanning my paintings to digitize them instead of taking photos. Getting a decent quality photo with my old camera and in even lighting is hard. But I only have an A4 size scanner, so how do I scan my bigger paintings? I found a bigger art scanner at the library for my canvas board and cardboard paintings, but I can't fit the thicker canvas paintings in there. Nor did I want to break their scanner by lifting off the lid the way I do with my own scanner. So here's the next best solution I could find. It does require some tools, but you can use your own small scanner at home. This canvas almost fits, it's only a little too wide, but if I scan it like this, so that it's not fully touching the glass, it will turn out all blurry. With paper, you can press it down flat on the scanner and let the rest of it hang out, but it doesn't work with a stretched canvas. This feels kind of illegal at first, but it's actually fine, I've done it before. You need a staple gun later on, but I'm first going to unstretch the canvas by removing the staples. I put a towel underneath to not damage the painting. A staple remover does not work here, but a flat screwdriver does. And you can use pliers to pull out the rest of the staple if it gets stuck. The canvas might get a little frayed and the wooden frame might get a bit of damage too, but the painting should be fine. Now you can scan the canvas flat against the scanner, put a stack of paper on top of it and a heavy book on top of the scanner lid to further flatten the canvas against the scanner. I scanned the top half and the bottom half sideways, both in 600 dpi resolution as PNG image files. And now we need to merge them together. You can find photo merging software for this, but I'm doing it manually in the free image editor GIMP. I opened both files in GIMP and made a new taller image to make room for both of them and added both halves as layers. I turned them 90 degrees with the rotate tool since they were sideways. I put one of them in place and then started moving and rotating the second piece to make it match the position and the angle of the first one. I turned it about 50% opaque so it's easy to see when they match perfectly. The skull was a pretty clear part to look at and then once I got closer I used smaller details like the white highlights in the eyes and made sure they match. Then I would delete part of the top layer and find a good place for the seam. And use a blurry eraser tool to make the seam less noticeable. If the colors and levels match, you could anchor the layers together and then move them towards the center and use the rotate tool again to make sure it's not tilted to one side and then crop it and merge the layers together and do the rest of the editing on the image as a whole. That's what I do with watercolor on paper, but I had an issue with this one. The lighting is so uneven, especially the wing on the right has this dark shadow that's not there on the actual painting. I ended up re-scanning the canvas at this point and changing two things. I think the wing is so close to the crease of the canvas edge that it scans funny. So I tried pressing it down harder to make it more flat against the scanner and smooth out the crease a little to not create the harsh shadow and I didn't fold the edges in anymore. I also scanned the canvas as right side and left side instead of sideways as top and bottom. Since the height was never the problem, it was only the width and I got better results this way. I could get the most even lighting and colors and appearance of the canvas texture. And the wing on the right didn't look as bad. If you were to use an actual art graphic scanner, you'd probably get this result a little easier because the creases shouldn't be such a problem then. Instead of a straight seam, I tried to get one element fully from one scan to make it less obvious this time. The wing and the right side of the cloak and some of the sky from the right scan, but the face and all the rest of it from the left scan. 
and then adjusting the exposure of one of the sides to make them match. Merging the layers and then doing the rest of the editing for the whole picture. Once I was happy with the end result of the scan, I put the canvas painting back together with the staple gun. You put the staples in and start with one staple in the middle of the longer side. Then turn the canvas around and staple the middle of the opposite side, pulling it tight with pliers. And continuing this, switching sides after each staple. I'm not using the exact same positions of the old staples since the canvas broke in those areas. Then pull the corners tight and staple them. And finally finish the two other sides the same way. Some staple guns might have a setting for the pressure to determine whether the staples end up raised or not. But this one doesn't and they ended up raised and I don't want them to be so I took the hammer afterwards and hammered them in a little bit while also checking that it's not damaging the painting and having a towel and a piece of wood underneath. Now the canvas might still turn out a little loose. If you want to tighten it, you can apply gesso on the back and that will harden and tighten the canvas once the gesso dries. I've tried that before with another painting and it works well. But is there a difference between a normal scanner and an actual art scanner? I went to test out a high quality graphic scanner and compared them in this video. See you then!